But to travel now, it is the final few days of the kids' school holidays. And you may be casting about for some ideas to fill in the time. Our resident travel journalist, Debbie Griffiths, did some investigating for you, and she found loads of cool things to do in Hamilton Waikato. Take a look. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. The Waikato region is home to some of New Zealand's top tourist attractions like Waitomo Glowworm Caves, Raglan of course and Hobbiton. But I bet you've never thought of spending an entire family vacation in Hamilton City. Well, we're going to inspire you today, starting with these very little guys. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Oh my goodness. Although they like to come up and interact with us, we can't pat them directly like we would a cat, although it is very tempting. Um, so we encourage people not to actually touch them, let the lemurs come up to you. Um, the lemurs can retreat if they want and we'll let them retreat into their own space. We won't try and chase them or follow them. So by doing these en encounters, we're actually helping with the conservation fund as well, aren't we? Absolutely. A portion of what people pay for these encounters goes into our conservation fund, which in turn um, helps to supplement the conservation initiatives that we support. We are here to highlight the plight of these guys in the wild and highlight that they are disappearing. Ring-tailed lemurs are in trouble in the wild, but the status of black and white raft lemurs is even more dire. The black and whites are particularly bad breeders, and in Madagascar, obviously it's an island, so there's only so much space. Uh, Urbanisation and agriculture are moving into the breeding areas and the feeding areas of the lemur species, so these guys are basically getting a smaller and smaller home range, and it's becoming harder and harder for them to, to live in the wild and survive. So I think that's probably the main reason they're they're so endangered, they are the most endangered species we have at Hamilton Zoo. There's also the chance to get up close with red pandas, white rhino and reptiles at the zoo, but a simple day wandering, still great fun. Miles in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest, golden grand piano, my beauty Off to Hamilton beauty Gardens for lunch and we booked a gourmet picnic basket. A generous spread gives us enough energy to explore the internationally acclaimed gardens conceived in the 1980s by Dr Peter Sergal. We've really uh, borrowed the concept of a museum, really a modern museum, where uh, we're trying to tell the story of gardens. So we've got eventually 34 different gardens that start with ancient Egyptian gardens right through to modern forms of garden, all the different kinds of garden. And the thing about gardens is they reflect different arts and social structures and uh, religious beliefs, they really tell quite a story, so in a way it's telling the story of civilization. We get a sneak peek at the new 1920s New Zealand garden inspired by the writing of Catherine Mansfield, due to open in spring. Until then, there's plenty of colour, design, structure and whimsy to delight all ages. It's easy to see why this is Waikato's most popular tourist attraction. Cambridge next, our accommodation is the brand new Kelly Road Lodge. Fresh contemporary design, proudly using local art, furniture and even the coffee is roasted nearby. From here it's a half hour drive to Sanctuary Mountain Mangatauturi, New Zealand's biggest pest proof sanctuary. We've put up a great big fence running 47 kilometres right the ways around the entire Maunga. So the forest here at Mongatauteri is some of the best, most pristine you could find on the mainland of New Zealand. North Island Robin and Kaka are among the species now flourishing here. The viewing tower is a good place to do some bird watching. So how high is this tower? So the tower is 16 metres. So it puts us up in the canopy, so in the young part of the canopy that we can see around us. But it gives us a great view of one of New Zealand's biggest forest trees in Northern Rata. I find just simply coming for a walk, being able to share this environment with people, and we're really fortunate we have an education program. And we see around four to 5,000 students come through that program every year, and they're going home with that encouragement to continue looking after what's precious to New Zealand as well. Last stop for the day and we're in for a treat. A gentle paddle on the southern end of Lake Karapiro to Pukai Whenua Canyon as the sun sets in the west. Our family started coming up about 15 years ago when they moved to the region, but as a business we've been operating for the past five seasons. 
Things are starting to drop off a little now for the winter season, but we do operate right through the winter as well. So tell me about the canyon we're going to go through. Is it actually like rocky sites? Or it is, yes. And the canyon walls are covered in moss and they're damp and yucky and horrible for us. But that's absolutely perfect conditions for glowworms to grow in. There's not many places that you can go and see glowworms out in the open. And it's just a whole different thing when you've got a kayak there, you've got to put in a bit of energy and you're away from roads, you're away from footpaths, you can't walk up here. So it's, a, it's quite unique um, that you can only reach it by kayak. You would not believe your eyes If 10 million fireflies Lit up the world as I fell asleep When we drift back after dark, the canyon is lit by thousands of glowworms and the night sky above glitters with stars for a genuinely magical end to our day. Wow, how gorgeous does that look? Fantastic ideas in and around Hamilton City for the end of the school holidays. But Debbie tells us that she and her son had a really great time and they intend to return with the rest of their family very soon. Now, if you'd like ideas for your next vacation in Waikato region, then go to the Tourism Office website. It's a geographically and culturally diverse region with a wide range of activities and attractions to suit all ages and abilities.